guys. It says on here I have two bars of LTE, which should be enough to have. I've streamed at much three bars of LTE. I've streamed at much worse connection than this. I never had a problem. Or two bars of 4G LTE should be enough to do uh, a low, like a standard definition stream at a low bit rate. And it has been in the past. Uh, it's just really struggling right now. Uh, yeah. So I don't know what to say about that, but it's uh, not the best quality. down and okay one and a half up one and a half up should be enough for a standard definition stream just over one and a half up so. hello how's it going we're just dealing with technical issues but uh Decent morning. It was really wet last night, but it's kind of decent right now. Uh, caught one ride. Guy went way over his way to cut me further along past the town. And now I'm just trying to catch my second ride of the day. Um, and hopefully the connection issues can clear up a little bit. We're also going to be running into battery issues coming up really soon. Uh, so that'll be fun too. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. Maybe I'll splurge and like put myself up in a bed for a night. some way, whether that's uh, the battery dying or it just being a dumb California. I'm in Oregon right now, actually. Uh, I'm just 20 miles south of Astoria, Oregon. I'll be in California soon. But I'm contemplating if I end up in a place with a nice chair. Connection issues killing me. But I 
I'll be going through California. I don't have exact destinations where I'm heading to yet. Uh, I'm just sad because I know every time I get this poor connection warning and my uh, bitrate drops down that you guys are going to be lagging uh, to some extent, which uh, doesn't make for a nice, uh, nice stream to watch. So, yesterday was great. What if a bear came out and attacked me? Well, I'd be pretty fucked on the night. There's just black bear around here. Generally, they're pretty passive. Uh, so I'm not too concerned. But yeah, my, my bear fighting abilities are not up to par. sort of thing, but, you know, people got rid of them, uh, there, uh, yep, they mostly keep to themselves, no people, bears, cougars, or anything like that, they don't see humans as a, as a food source, so, um, they generally leave us alone, uh, like with bears, so the best way to avoid a bear is to make a decent amount of noise as you're walking around through the woods, because if they hear you, They'll stay away from you. Nine of them, so they avoid me. Let's see. Uh, that was a way to get me past the town. Uh, Mileish walk uh, to get here from where you dropped me off. Um, I had a not the best spot, and I had some advice from chat. from the sea, yeah. Um, actually, I'm from Vancouver Island. I think it's pretty narrow. It's for a reason they decided to swim across the Georgia Straits. Uh, if you have a bunch of tasty food, though, then they'll pass through you. I'm blaming the device itself because I'm having a few issues with it battery wise in general. Service, which is actually pretty decent and resolution. So, um, something's up. I just keep getting a poor connection warning. My other batteries exist. I have one full battery left. I have 12, 000, one 12,000 milliamp hour battery. Still fully charged and ready to roll. Uh, but after that, uh, we're, we're almost done with, uh, with electricity. I gave everything about an hour charge this morning when I got breakfast. But for a 20,000 milliamp battery, that does next to nothing.
other backpacks open. But we'll see. Faster, a little hustle in a land cruiser. Oh, yeah. Hey, how's it going? If I get you down to Manzanita, that's how far is that? Um, about 10 12 miles that way. Anywhere in that direction, yeah, yeah, help me out. Um, just so you know, I'm uh, kind of documenting the process of hitchhiking, so this is video and audio. Is it something you're okay with? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, okay. Where are you heading totally at the end? I don't have a final destination. I'm from Canada. I'm just uh, traveling around. Nice. All right. Just a Trevor. No, it's all good, yeah. Trevor. Um, yeah, I actually filmed the documentary a couple years ago. Did you? And uh, so, not not unaccustomed to being on camera even when I don't want to be. Okay. It's all yeah. good. I wasn't sure, because uh, I've been doing this four days now, how people would be to having a camera. It's on a website called Twitch TV. Okay. Actually, when we stop somewhere, I can give you the. I have a business card for you. Yeah, yeah, give me a business yeah. card for sure. Uh, which I find funny because uh, it's my name and hitchhiking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. So, you, how much? You, how long are you gonna be doing it? Uh, until I don't enjoy it anymore or I run out of money. <laughs> been there, done that. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Uh, but yeah, that's what I've been doing for the four years of traveling. Is I travel so the finances get low, then go home, work, save up money, go on. Sounds fun. I, I've done this in 25 countries. Not the live stream, but the hitchhiking. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. All right. But yeah, I really appreciate you having me. Sure. No, no problem. Yeah. I just got off work. I'm heading home. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> you don't look like an axe murderer, so I think we're all right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> generally, I don't look too intimidating. Or people don't think I look too intimidating. So uh, I get around pretty quickly, usually. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Good deal. Yeah. yeah, I can get you. I can take you down to... Uh, let me see if you're are you familiar with this area at all? I'm not. Okay, it's um, all new to me. this is Canada Beach here, and then we're gonna go to the next big city is um, well, there's Little Arch Cape, and then uh, Manzanita's the next city. And I can get you down to Halem, which is even south from there, okay, which is a couple miles south of Manzanita. And um, you should, you should have pretty good, have a pretty good uh, that wind's picking up, yeah.
That's a little excitement. summertime they got a pig I think that's partially a Cadillac pig farm in this place yeah it's so ripe it smells <laughs> yeah, it yeah oh I know that smell especially when it gets over 80 it's like oh yeah. this is horrible <laughs> Right back at ya. Directing traffic not to not to go. To that. Don't tell me that. That's how I gotta go home, folks. Oh no. Well, I'll take you where we need to go. We'll figure it out. Hopefully, you can get there. We're gonna stop people from going up the wrong way. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. Well, I hope they didn't have another landslider. Yeah. I'll be in the tent tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you both. Get you to Wheeler here, it's a pretty cool place. They got a marina and all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, on your way home. Oh, yeah, that's cool. All right, so we're back on the 101 right now. Back on the 101. I know. Yeah. I do not. Doesn't know anything about whales. No. Nope. Uh, you know of whales, right? Yes, yeah, I know but, of whales. But he doesn't know anything about it, yeah. Um, 
was just curious about what people uh, from American have heard of this country. Um, no, I think no. I, everything I've heard about Wales is very positive, but yeah. I've never. Yeah. It's so not much. Okay, I think probably right yeah, here. Anywhere, cool. yeah, here. I'll, uh, maybe I'll check out the town quickly. Yeah, there's the marina down here. Okay. Yeah, the Wheeler Marina, and you got there's liquor store. There's all kinds of yeah, stuff I can right stop here. Yeah, up on liquor, all, <laughs> all that necessities. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> all right, just taking a minute to. Sure, now I'm man. all connected into your. And uh, make sure to give me your. Oh your yeah. Cards. yeah. Awesome. So it's broadcast on Twitch TV, our uh, live streaming website, yeah. and then I have my social medias and an email on the bottom right if you did want to stay in contact. Very cool. Yeah, I'll check it out. I got a couple friends. We'll, we'll watch. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We'll watch your travels for yeah, sure. Yeah, check it out. See what hitchhiking's yeah. like. I should nice. be doing it for the next while. A couple months, huh? Yeah, uh, I've got the finances to do a couple months at least. Uh, Good for you. It, I can monetize it at some point, like people donate, subscribe. Yeah, get it. some sponsors somewhere, right? Yeah. yeah. Snickers, sponsor me, please. No joke, right? <laughs> <laughs> Love me some Snickers. Or Patagonia or somebody. <laughs> uh, it'll just take one second yeah, to get sure. all my stuff together. I'll get this out on the all side. Right. Thanks again, I really hey, appreciate no the lift. Good yeah. luck with your travels, stay safe, Trevor. Yeah. yeah, we'll check you out on Twitch. Yeah, hopefully you make it home. Yeah, check oh, we'll it out. See. If we'll you see. talk in chat, that'd be cool to reconnect and you can talk to the people oh, yeah, that can ask you questions. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a cool uh, experience, I think. Yeah. I, I really hope I get some drivers into there. Yeah. Just because they can talk to people from these different places and I think they'd really like it and uh, maybe be interesting to you. Like but yeah, have a good one, man. Okay, stay safe. Yeah, see Take ya. Take care. Sorry guys, um, there was a landslide on the 101, so I had to, um, we had to detour like way around, and that highway had no connection, uh, none at all. So, I, I, oh, thanks for removing, oh yeah, sorry, I, when I was getting out I, uh, I uh, didn't see the chat, so I, I missed that. Um, because Wales gets blow so Prince Diana. Um, he's a nice truck. Yeah, I, I love uh, Toyota Land Cruisers. They're, uh, they're solid vehicles. Um, what city am I in now? Uh, Wheeler, Oregon. <laughs> How far of a travel? I've had two rides, uh, but one ride took me like down the 101, like past this junction further south, and then there was a landslide, and this guy picked me up. We drove another couple miles, then we had to turn around, backtrack almost as far as I came with my first ride, take a separate highway, go all the way around this landslide, which was a big detour, and then back out onto uh, 101 this way. So um, I haven't really made it that far. Um, if you look up on a map, um, uh, where I'm in Wheeler, and you compare that to where Astoria is, you'll probably see that I haven't gotten very far. Yeah, the highway is washed out. They were blocking off all traffic. Everyone was turning around because uh, of how much rain they've had, which I've, you know, you might have seen if you've been watching. Because uh, of all that rain, um, the land's unstable. Because uh, on that, the highway's coastal, so. It, it's kind of steep coming up to the to the ocean there, and when it gets wet and soggy, uh, the land will collapse on you pretty easily. I'm just gonna get everything together. Uh, might miss chat for a second. Actually, someone um, followed. I just want to recognize that. Just left me. Uh, should I 
chase it down, I'm gonna get it before it flies away. One second. I spent too long making this tiny little sign to have it just blow away on me like that. One second. Also, he gave me a bag of cookies. Plug my phone back in to it, its battery, and we'll uh, walk. We'll check out the town. I'll try and show you guys a little bit. Don't fall over, back. Uh, I know you want to, but try to avoid doing it. You've had flooding. Whereabouts are you? All right, missed a bunch of chat while I was getting all that. Uh, I think I think I might do that pretty soon now. Uh, I'm almost out of battery, but I think uh, like if I don't get a place to overnight and recharge tonight, I, I'd be dead. But I've really enjoyed broadcasting to everyone. Um, so uh, like I, I think I'm willing to splurge and just get a cheap motel for a warm place to can't uh, stay for the night, recharge everything for like 12 hours. Um, dry out my camp gear, uh, edit some stuff with my stream, try to troubleshoot a few things, and then start right back at it tomorrow. Um, so if I get to a town with a cheap motel or something like that, I might actually pay for accommodation. Uh, which is crazy, I know. I, it, sleeping inside a building? How could I do such a thing? But yeah, he was a really cool guy. Uh, and yeah, uh, like one of you said, everyone I've met has been really cool. Which, uh, if you ever try hitchhiking near yourself, uh, I think you'd find very similar experience to what I've had. If I get a motel, can you say hello? <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm reading it backwards. Uh, had flooding near San Francisco, yeah. Uh, yeah, I heard, I heard California just had a big storm. Uh, it's passing now, and well, apparently I'm experiencing a different storm or the northern part of that storm right now. 
screw buildings, you have a portable one. The problem is I don't have portable electricity. Well, I do, but I only have so much, and then I have to recharge it all uh, through an actual power grid. And all my batteries are are uh, on their last limbs. Uh, so, I have to make the judge uh, the call, unless I get offered a place or something like that, uh, by a driver, of whether I stream today, camp out, and then I can't stream tomorrow, or I stream today, pay for a place where I can charge overnight, and then I can stream tomorrow. Yeah, I'll just bring, <laughs> uh, <laughs> camp like 50 meters behind someone's house and just sneakily plug in an extension cord. Or hitchhike with a, with a, with a diesel generator. That would be another way to do it. I heard about one person, just for the hell of it, to see if they could do it, hitchhikes with a full-size refrigerator. Like, it's not under power, you can't plug it in when you're hitchhiking, but they just wanted to see if they could hitchhike with a full-size refrigerator. Uh, <laughs> and I don't know if you, like, when, when guys have trucks, they like to use them. So if they see someone hitchhiking with a fr fridge, they're just like, man, I get to use this truck. I get to utilize the bed of this truck. Get a coat with solar panels all over it. Well, I don't think I'd be drawing much power uh, in the Pacific Northwest right now. I've only had probably a few hours of sunlight since I've uh, started in the US. How many, sp well, I think in this area, it's just a lot of pickup trucks. Maybe in the US in general. But like when I was in Europe, like you'd rarely get a pickup truck because there barely is any pickup trucks. Uh, it really depends on where you're at. Um, but yeah, right here. Cat <laughs> with a fan. Get that, that, get that wind power. The rain's starting again, by the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I did look at some solar panels. Um, and they're getting a bit more efficient. So, like, in, in good sunlight. It's tough when you're walking because you're going to be in and out of the sun and stuff like that. But if I'm stationary, then yeah, I could get some draw. Enough to kind of get like 5 volt, 1 amp charging. So I could like run that on my phone. Um, which uh, could be useful. I, they're, they're, they're a bit, they're kind of expensive. They're not too bad. But yeah, at some point it might get, holy crap, it's really coming down now. Feet of solar panels and one fan. I am a walking power plant. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna set you down, throw this backpack on. It's full on blowing rain mode, like torrential downpour. Whatever descriptor you want to throw at it. It's wet, it's windy. happy I got connection again. For a while it was pretty bad and uh, no one could really see anything, which I am I am very sorry for. Um, I would really like to uh, figure out how to make this all more reliable so you guys can see every moment and uh, not lose me every, every ride between towns. It's kind of a shame. Um, and also as far as like I'd like to show you guys some of the uh, landscapes and stuff, and uh, there's some pretty spectacular uh, uh, oceanside views as we went. Um, but like those are in sections where I just don't have connection. Actually, I've always wanted to try and hitchhike a ride on a, on an airplane. Uh, I figure if you go to like small. Uh, like hobby hobby airport like where people fly because they're passionate about flying and you just start chatting up the uh, pilots there and you show a passion for for aviation I'm sure one of them would take you out on a on a flight maybe get you a uh, hundred miles or something like that down down the way in a, in a Cessna or something like that uh, actually on this trip I'll try to do that um, remind me and uh, I'll try to keep an eye out for uh, an area maybe in California 
I'll try to go to a hobby airport and uh, chat some pilots up because that would be awesome. I'm not sure how network, how the connection would work once we take off in the plane, but we can try it. Uh, I'm guessing you guys have droplets all over your screen. Sorry about that. Oh, we other hotel. It's too early for me to end the stream. I'm gonna try and get a couple towns down before I try to start recharging everything. Too early, not enough rides, only two rides in. We need more. Yesterday I was good, we had four, four on stream. Um, I think four, four is a good amount. <laughs> wouldn't that be, <laughs> wouldn't that be something? Uh, you put your thumb out. The other hand over its jars now you're not completely soaked. Yeah, I got one. I got one dry hand. Everything else, everything else is soaking wet. But I got a dry thumb, so uh, don't worry. I won't get your car wet. Yeah, if, if an alien pulls over, I'm definitely get, getting that ride. First contact, that is great stream content, eh? I think I'd get at least like 15 viewers if, if, I, if I got picked up by an alien. Unless you mean illegal alien. Try and clean this uh, lens off a bit. I'll just show you guys. I don't know. I don't know. Kind of what's going on. So we're kind of on a coastal town here. Uh, actually, you know what? Like, I just walked through a town and I didn't even show you guys like the buildings that I went through. What a horrible live streamer I am. I'm just showing you my face. My ugly mug. God damn it. Gotta, gotta work on that. I'll be in this waterproof case. I can't I can't spin the camera around for you. Because again, I'll show you. This is what it looks like. Yeah, I'm uh, half Ukrainian, half uh, half British. Still have my Ukrainian uh, Surname, Denny Luke, or Deniluk, as we call it. Uh, I do have an Instagram. I just haven't started actually uh, establishing it, like posting stuff on it. It's the same name as my uh, as my my Twitch. So it's Hitch underscore Live is my Instagram. Feel free to follow it. There's just nothing there right now, so it's a little bit boring. But there will be. Uh, I'm just still figuring all this stuff out. You like the red? Yeah, it adds a little uniqueness to it. Sure, man. Let's give you a little bit of a red view of the town. <laughs> so, the pinky red ocean. Where I'm coming from. Gas station. I think you guys can only handle small stints of, of the red tint. That's kind of like a... It loses its charm pretty quick.
Yeah, well, I, I have plans to, um, uh, actually I probably should just hitchhike there, yeah. I'm just gonna hitchhike uh, where I was standing before, there's a wide shoulder. Um, I still know why I haven't started doing this. Uh, with my other phone, I have two phones, uh, I want to take a, a selfie with every driver that picks me up. Because if they've uh, agreed to let me film them, I'm guessing they'd be okay with a picture too. Um, and post that on Instagram. And then, um, even if you don't get to watch the full stream, you can check my Instagram and you can see at least the type of people that were picking me up. So that's the plan, and I'll add other stuff to it, but that's the plan of what I'd like to do with it going forward. Because um, if I'm streaming like I did yesterday, 11 hours a day, you're not going to get to see all of that. Um, or maybe you will, but like most people aren't going to hang around for 11 hours. Um, so it's, uh, you'll be good to just see who picks me up that day kind of thing. Uh, so that's what I'm looking at doing going forward. I'm also going to set up, I have a Twitter account, and I'm going to use it for, uh, 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 letting people know when I'm going live, my plans for that day and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, <laughs> you like the old cigar guy? He was badass. He isn't, he used to be a fighter pilot. Uh, Flew F 106s or something like that. Said his plane had been hit 16 times or something, but never actually shot down. Like, that guy's lived life. I say I own a red camera. Yeah, I own a red camera. Red cameras are, those are like those really expensive, like, uh, like, like cinema style cameras, right? Like just really expensive. I feel like this channel can really grow. It just needs to be handled with more social media. You really need to do this. I agree with you. I've, I've never uh, been good at promoting stuff on social media and I could probably be promoting this so much better than I am right now. Um, and that's something I really need to work on and I'm going to try and do that. So I, I'm going to take your advice. Yeah, three tours. Uh, props to him. And to... The planes he usually flew were not... When he, when he did tours, they were not fighter pilot planes. But he's still been shot at so many times. But those planes, they don't have ejection seats or anything like that. You get shot down, you lose control of your plane, you're in that plane. So, like... Even though there's, it's really dangerous to be shot down in a, in a plane with an ejection seat, like you still have that in the back of your mind, that if something went wrong, there's still a chance. Yeah. Yeah, and he really liked the cigars. <laughs> I haven't seen many people smoking cigars, so. I thought that was, uh, it was just unique. But yeah, coming up, I think today I'm willing to let myself splurge and just get a place for the night where I can plug in and dry out my camp gear because everything is soaked. Uh, I'm, if I do find a place, maybe I'll show you how wet everything is. When I like packed up my 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 footprint for my tent, I ringed it out like. All my camp gear is wet enough that you're wringing water out of it. It's uh, it's not the best um, as far as comfort goes. So like, I'm willing to bite the bullet, um, pay for a motel so I can pitch my tent. I I literally will, so I can get proper airflow, so I can it, it'll it'll air out. Maybe I'll still sleep in it, and I can uh, live stream. Actually, if I am drying stuff out, I might trying to live stream my tent setup from my motel room or something like that. My camp, the different camping gear I have. I can show, yeah, we can actually turn a motel stay into content. Uh, I can show you my different gear. Um, show you what I brought along. Um, and we can kind of talk about the different things, why I brought stuff.
There's a the Twitch channel if you sub subscribe. They put your live stream on a, their TV in a pub. That's actually really cool. Um, that's a cool concept. What's the name of that channel? Oh, let's check it out. Depending on how things go, I might lose battery to my jetpack or something like that but I'd uh yeah I think I'm gonna do that motel thing tonight get a full recharge do some logistical things on my twitch channel try to set up my social media a little bit uh link that to my twitch channel um maybe set up donations I just I talked about it earlier and I didn't want to have donations like a button on my stream when when I'm just when half the time you can't even watch the stream because it's so laggy or it's like cutting in and out like uh, I want people to be able to watch like interesting content in a reliable format and then if they value that then, then maybe they might think about donating I just uh, I'm I think this is a great start I'm just not quite happy with how um, the quality is for you guys yet. Um, there's a lot of room for improvement, so um, uh, yeah, I I'm trying to make it better. And like I said, I, I, I think uh, um, this concept does have a, a decent potential. I don't think it's really been done before. You sub even if it legs? I appreciate that. Uh, well, I don't think I can get a sub bar until I meet affiliate, but I'm actually pretty close to meeting affiliate uh, qualifications already. It'll fix up for the stuff you go. Yeah, for the stuff you go. Um, I, I think the town's become more connected and uh, the mountains become less so along the coast. The more and more civilization there are, the better the connect, better connected the uh, cell network will be. Um, I'd really like to like look into investing more into the stream, like um, uh, get something where other live streamers they have like a live view kind of uh, system where they have multiple jetpack things like this all tied into one unit, which combines the signal and produces one faster, more consistent. Uh, service uh, by using like Verizon, AT&T, like multiple networks. Um, so I'd like to look into doing that because I think the most important thing about having like an entertaining, good stream that people would want to watch is consistency. Like I can't have it cutting in and out. I can't have it lagging. Uh, I need it to be consistent, and I, people can handle watching at low resolution as long as it stops cutting out. Uh, where right now we're on and off. Um, like I had a great day yesterday, um, connection was good enough that we only had a, a few spots where connection was really cutting, um, uh, but uh, uh, today it's been a bit rougher. Can't always promise people a good connection. And I don't think I'll ever be able to promise it. I just want... I want to make it as good as, as humanly possible. Uh, as good as technology will let it be. Because uh, I think it's only recently become e possible at all to be able to do this kind of thing. Live stream hitchhiking out in places like this. Um, and it'll become more and more accessible, uh, but I want to take this technology as far as it'll let me. Um, sorry, one sec. Sorry, 
Dan Arcteryx jacket. <laughs> I asked the last guy, he's pretty outdoorsy, he doesn't know what Arcteryx is. See? Dead bird here. Um, Arcteryx. Nice brand, expensive, but uh, yeah. There's so much more, that's some interesting stuff you're doing. Something a thousand views from cooking average food on Surely this is more interesting. I appreciate it. It means a lot to me to know that you guys find this really interesting. Because um, th this is like what I've been doing the past four years. Like this is what I really enjoy. So it's it's cool to me uh, to um, uh, be able to show you guys what that is and you to actually enjoy watching it. Um, it, it makes me pretty excited about um, what I can do with this. Low resolution doesn't bother you right now. You're watching 160. Yeah, I'm, I'm broadcasting at 360. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah, I I I I agree with you. Um, you don't need super high resolution, but you need consistency. I, I can't have um, the lag. It, it becomes unwatchable with, with lag. You love Arcteryx? I think it'd be this guy on YouTube. His name is. Day, and you train hop all across Canada, it's a cool series. Yeah, uh, I was talking about train hopping with the last guy. I, 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 for a while, I wanted to try train hopping. I'm not sure if you picked this, uh, if you saw this, but yeah, my thing was, I never met anyone that's train hopped themselves. And I'm, the way I see it, if you mess with a train and you screw up, you're going to die. A train will win 100% of the time. And I would like to do my first time train hopping with someone uh, that knows the ropes. Um, yeah, Brave Dave. Okay, it's a cool series. Like four episodes. Nice to check that out. <laughs> Let it grow. Let it grow. Yeah, um, both on how to present yourself uh, on camera, and I need to consult with people about network connect connectivity kind of stuff, um, uh, so we can get that consistent stream going where uh, you can see the the whole day of hitchhiking like yesterday, minus those few little uh, laggy sections through the mountains. But like, I was really happy with how yesterday's stream went. Um, because I got a full 11 hours in. Like, I streamed from the time I was taking down my tent in the morning to when I was about to take or set up my tent at night. And there were some hiccups, but I was pretty proud of that. That's true. Trains are going to go through places with absolutely no connection. I'd need to like pay tens of thousands of dollars for like satellite connection that's fast enough to live stream video. <laughs> Uh, I haven't been, um, because, like, the only thing being videoed is, uh, the live stream, so I do have VODs, and I can transfer those into YouTube videos, just they're gonna be at fairly low resolutions, and include all my legginess that you guys witness. Um, maybe I should make a compilation of, like, people picking me up hitchhiking in the interactions and stuff like that, and toss that on YouTube, um, and kind of update that every once in a while, um. But like, YouTube's a tough thing for, uh, I think for this kind of IRL streaming because the quality here ain't gonna be that great and there's people putting out really high quality stuff on YouTube as far as travel vlogs and stuff like that. Um, uh, with, the, with great cinematography, great quality, um, great storytelling. And as much as I think this is a, like an interesting topic, the quality just uh, for recorded content is uh, fairly low. Um, for live, I think it's great because it doesn't have to be high quality and you get to experience this as it happens and like be there as it get picked up. Uh, all the different uh, random crap that happens while you're hitchhiking. Um, uh, you get to see that as that happens, which is really cool. And you miss a little bit of that on a pre-recorded kind of content front. Um, I'd still like to put out some YouTube videos, but I, I, I'm still not exactly sure the best way to approach that. 
honestly the best way is probably just put stuff out and see what people like, see what people don't like, and then uh, troubleshoot after that. And just overall adventure videos, yeah. I think that'd be a really good idea. Um, but like, if Hitchhiking America goes well, like, oh, sorry, I sent the message, I didn't mean to. Um, uh, I don't see why I couldn't take it elsewhere. Uh, why not Hitchhike Europe? Uh, hitchhike anywhere that else that has uh, a developed uh, high-speed cellular network. Uh, you have a great personality, every person for themselves. This has grabbed my attention more than big YouTube channels. I really appreciate that. Um, that, that does mean a lot because uh, I've never been in front of a camera before, so this is brand new to me. Um, uh, yeah, so that's really nice to hear. I do appreciate that.